Since I got back from Scotland, I've been topping up my bait station with peanuts and grain every day. There's all sorts of quarry species taking advantage, from pigeons, crows and jays to the inevitable grey squirrels. This pair of squirrels has moved in and claimed it as their territory, and they're quite aggressive about defending it. They'll even chase off the bigger birds like the crows. At this time of year, they spend a lot of time scurrying about burying nuts and seeds in the grass. These parakeets have shown up too. They're also on the quarry list, but even though they're destroying the fruit trees, I can't do anything about it unless they'll come down where I can get a safe shot. I'll have to try putting out some different bait for them. Some sort of fruit, perhaps. Meanwhile, I've got another Crossman air rifle to test. This one's a Phantom Mark II. It's a brake barrel action with a nicely shaped black plastic stock. It's a 12 foot pound rifle powered by a nitro piston, which makes it really smooth to shoot and quite quiet too. It comes with a good solid one piece mount and a three to nine power parallax adjustable scope. I'd only just finished zeroing the new gun when this squirrel arrived at the feeder. It seemed too good an opportunity to miss. But before I could take a shot, it jumped down again. It had only gone to look for spilt grain and sat up right in front of my zeroing target. Not a very smart move. Well, that frightened the parakeets off, but before long, this magpie came along. I like to use headshots on squirrels and rabbits, but with birds, I find a body shot works best. They move their heads about more, so the body's an easier target. Plus, birds are more lightly built, so a solid hit in the body will usually knock them down well. It certainly worked on this magpie. 